Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to export your HTML email templates from Figma into the Stripo email platform using the Emailify Figma plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, and if you click on the little resources icon up here and search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on Emailify, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, and that'll allow you to run it from your Figma plugin list. So I've already clicked on the save icon, so I'm gonna to go to my canvas, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on Emailify. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to design and export responsive HTML emails directly from Figma without needing to code anything or know anything about email development. So to get started, all we're gonna do is just create a brand new email. So I'm just gonna call this test template from Figma and click on add new emailify container. And I'm not gonna be going through all the design features of the plugin today. Uh, if you are new to the plugin and you wanna learn more, there's a bunch of YouTube tutorials on the channel or in the documentation that you can look into, uh, which will give you a deep dive into the design tools and how to customize emails for your own brand and design. But for today, I'm just gonna be sticking with a really basic template that I'm just gonna spin up right now. I'm not gonna customize it. Uh, you can obviously customize this design and content for yourself. But for today, I'm just gonna be keeping it really simple to show you how to upload this into the Stripo platform. So we've just got a few different components here, which we can then preview in our preview panel here by clicking on the preview button. And you can see here, we've got our HTML uh, as we'd expect taking from the design. So again, I'm just gonna keep this really simple and show you how to get this HTML into the Stripo platform. So all we need to do once you're happy with your email is click on the export HTML button in the plugin, and then just change this option up here from HTML email and go down to platforms and find Stripo. So click on Stripo. And then once you've added your subject line and preheader text, uh, if you'd like, then you can click on the export for Stripo button. So I've just clicked on that, which is gonna generate all of the HTML code, uh, export and upload all the images. And then we can just click on this download your zip file button here. And then we can save that anywhere on our computer. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And if you unzip that zip file and then open up the folder, uh, you'll be able to see that we've got a previews page. And so this allows you to view a preview of the email. So you can see the desktop version, the mobile version, and you can send this to clients or stakeholders to approve the email. Uh, but for today, what we really wanna do is get the index.html file inside of the folder here. So you wanna expand your folder that you've named the same as your uh, Figma template. So whatever your Figma template is called in the frame, that's what the folder is gonna be called here. And the file you wanna get is the index.html file. So just go ahead and open up that file. You can open it up in a browser or a code editor. I'm just gonna open it up in the browser. And to get the code, you just have to right click anywhere on the page and click on view page source. And then you can grab the code by selecting all the content. So that's command A on Mac or control A on Windows. And then just copy that to your clipboard. So just either right click and copy that or do a command C or uh, control C to copy that to your clipboard. And then you basically want to go to your Stripo account. So I'm already logged into Stripo. I currently don't have any emails added, so if you've got no emails on yours as well, the button you wanna click on is this basic templates button. So in your stripo.email uh, account, click on basic templates under the email messages tab. So just go ahead and click on basic templates. And then you wanna click on the my HTML option here. So you don't want the empty template, you definitely want this my HTML template, otherwise you're gonna get a bunch of other stuff that we don't want. So go ahead and click on my HTML. And once that loads, you'll get the Stripo editor pop up here with a blank screen. So what we need to do now is click on this little code icon up here. So you can see where I've got my button uh, hovered. So click on that little code button and that's gonna open up this code editor down here. So we don't want any of this code that is being included by default. So you're gonna select all of that code, just select everything. And then we're gonna paste from our clipboard. So Command V or Control V. 
So now that we've pasted in the HTML, you can see that it's instantly loaded up the template in our editor here. We can make small tweaks to this content. So if you wanted to remove uh, certain bits of text or expand it, uh, you can add in text there. Or if you want to change any of the images, you can click on an image that'll load it up in here. And you can see currently it's uploaded on the Hypermatic CDN, but you can change that out with your own image if you wanted to replace it. So you can click on replace image and then drag and drop an image from your computer or one that you've got saved in the Stripo platform. And you can automatically override those images if you like. Um, alternatively, you can edit those in Figma and re-upload the content. It just depends on what you want your workflow to look like. So I'm gonna upload one more Figma template just to show you how to do this if you've already got some messages or templates added to your email messages uh, page here. And what you can do is click on this new message button. So go ahead and click on new message and you wanna click on my HTML again. And one more time, we're just gonna click on the code button and select all and paste. And again, we've just added our template as well. So that was just exactly the same steps on that second part. The first part was just showing you the difference between uh, loading the new message template or new template page uh, with no templates added previously. So you get that little uh, set of menu buttons here, which doesn't include this new message button. But once you've added at least one template, you can always add new ones using this new message button. So just make sure you click on that and that will always take you to the new message uh, screen. Then just click on my HTML and once again, click on the code button to paste in your template. So whatever template you're exporting, I'll just export one more so you can see what it looks like. We're just gonna export this uh, GitHub template, which I've taken from the community. So if you browse some of the Figma templates that are included in the plugin, uh, that's the GitHub one there. So you can grab those for free off the Figma community. Those are Emailify compatible out of the box. So you can grab that. So I'm gonna export that one, click on export HTML, change this to Stripo once again. So I'm gonna click on the Stripo option click on export for Stripo. And once that finishes exporting, I'm gonna save that to my computer again. So this is just finishing uploading the images. I'm gonna click download your zip file, save that to my desktop again, open up that new zip file and open up the folder. And you can see here under the Emailify template, we've got our index.html file. So once more, I'm just gonna drag and drop that into my browser. And you can see the content is all there. So we're gonna right click go to view page source. So we'll copy all of the HTML, go back to Stripo, and in our new template that we just selected a second ago, we're gonna again paste all of that in over the top of the code there. So we're gonna select all, paste. You can see we've got our content in here uh, as we'd expect. So we've got our links. So if you wanted to add a link in here, you can add that in. So you could add that to github.com and that will automatically link that to github.com when it's clicked. So this is a really easy way to make content updates, or you can just basically leave the content as it is from Figma uh, and then send out the email from Stripo to whatever integration you're using uh, with their platform. So that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show you a really quick tutorial on how to get your HTML emails out of Figma into the Stripo platform and into their editor using the Emailify Figma plugin. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.